motion graphics tutorial. My name is Jesse and in this video I'm going to go over uh, using pre-keyed footage in iMovie 11 specifically. Now there's been a few questions that have come up and um, I myself have had these um, instances where you're using pre-keyed footage um, and it'll appear static. It won't move when you try and preview the video. Um, previewing it in your timeline you can scrub over it but yet if you hit spacebar to preview it the actual image, anything that's attached to your footage or your main timeline appears frozen or static. Now it used to it used to run fine in iMovie 9 um, and, and 10 apparently. Now this is a new thing with 11, I'm not sure why, but it renders it fine. So if I were to export the movie and view it, everything's going to show up fine, just like it does here when I scrub over it. But if I choose to play it full screen, it appears static. But now I can still freeze it and scrub over it so I can see what it'll look like full screen. But if I just choose to play it, it'll be paused at whatever point the um, the header is at. So one trick around that is, is to export the movie, which will ultimately kind of create the project it kind of um, finalizes the project so if you're to choose export which I've already done it'll take a minute and then you view the clip you're gonna see that everything will play fine the pre-keyed will you know it plays in the background I've added a little effect on here and it plays no problem now when I go back in here and I view it this still seems static or seem static, but if I were to preview it in full screen, it now plays. Because what it's done is attach the pre-keyed footage to the main timeline. So I, I assume anyway, because now it's attached. So if I were to want to change something in here, say bring in another clip or add to the timeline, it's going to ask me, you know, it's a finalized project. Are you sure you want to do this? It'll change everything. And all it's doing is just kind of unconnecting you know, or unpairing the, the footage. So now we're back to where we started. See where it plays. The foot pre-keyed footage and effects are still there, but yet they remain static. I guess the easiest way then to deal with iMovie and pre-keyed effects and footage is to scrub through them and you'll you'll get the same look when the video is rendered and it's not going to change your project so as you build it and build it and build it and you want to see it, how it looks you know share or export a quick video you can preview how it looks you know and then and then you, even you can just bring it back in you can add to it add on top of that video if you want as a new project or just go back in and you know scrub through it it gives it's a pretty pretty accurate um, time frame, I guess, as you're scrubbing through, as long as you're not speeding through it with your mouse. That's the easiest solution that I've come up with. Um, if anyone else has any uh, insight or anything that they've figured out, any kind of tricks or tips with iMovie 11, hopefully they'll get this fixed when they, if they launch a new version um, and everything will play perfectly fine. So I also encourage to go to marketingmotiongraphics.com and if you go to the free download section or here free video clips scroll down you'll see a whole bunch of different various clips and they'll say either pre-keyed or they won't and so if they say pre-keyed then that means that they are pre-keyed you can download each clip bring it in and test it out and see how it works and play around with them um, and if you have any questions or any concerns at all feel free to um, go to the contact or support page and uh, fill out the contact form, shoot me an email anytime, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks again.